Right, okay, so we've got Citroen Nemo in where the fan is not working on speed one, two, three, but it works on number four. So there's nothing wrong with the actual fan itself. This is going to be a resistor ballast problem, which is this thing here. Now, this is a repair kit you can buy. Got the loom attached to it already, you've just got to cut and shut because what usually happens is inside that plug they burn out. Now, if you go under the passenger side, obviously, this is UK passenger side footwell this obviously plastic cover will be up here you've got a couple of little plastic clips one here and one there you take them out if we look up under here we can see here is our resistor ballast and our wiring loom now this is loose as i've already removed it but to remove this it is a bit of a fiddle you've got this little tab here which you need to ideally push in. There's one the other side as well, this one, which you can just manipulate. But you need to push this tab in and slide it to the outside, to the left. And then you can pull it down and out. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see very well, but the cabling inside here has all gone crusty. This is actually not too bad, but I've seen these before where they've melted the plastic away, but you can I don't know if it's only if you can see, but in there, you can see where the brown cable goes in, it's gone black, it's starting to go rusty as well. So, next job would be we're going to cut these wires obviously and just join this new one into it. Make sure you get it the right way around clearly. So we we'll just start one end, there's only four cables on this one, there's five on this one, so there will be a spare cable. However, obviously it's irrelevant for this one. So we we'll just start at the end, just chop them, I'll probably chop them up here. So obviously the wire, they will get a bit of decent wire, you can see that other one, the second one in, a bit burnt as well. So we'll chop them up where this tape is, and then we'll start joining them together. So I'll get some tools and we'll come back. Right, okay, so all we're gonna be using is these, which are solder joins, basically, obviously a pair of snips, snip the cable, shave it back, and use these, these are brilliant for this sort of thing, they're waterproof, let's give it a good seal. So these, you just use a hot air gun, obviously just to put them together, put the cable in each end and just obviously heat them up, and then we'll solder them for you, it takes a bit of hassle out of it, obviously being up in there where it is, is a bit of a pain to do, but, Obviously it's easier than getting a soldering iron in there, so we're going to start chopping them about. What I'll do is I'll chop the loom, I'm going to come back and have a look when it's in one piece. Right, okay, so we're all soldered together now. Obviously we've got to match up obviously the wires, make sure they're the same colours as such as what the old one came off. We've got one redundant wire, which is obviously irrelevant. But, now, we have I'm working two, three, and four. So now we need to do is put this back in its hole up in there, push it in, slide it across, and then we're good to go. So if your blower's only working on number four, this will be your problem. That's how to change it over. <laughs> 